Pop the top, it's time for another video to drop. And today, bring you guys something brand new, and that is, of course, what you're looking at right now WWE 2K19 GMO. Now, this is not going to be like the GMO series myself and the good brother Aaron, simply better AM, tried to do. This is all going to be on my own, basically, and we're doing it pretty much exactly like SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, 2007, and 2008 a handle gm mode that's right 30 picks are gonna be on the board smackdown live which is the show i will be controlling is gonna have a general manager and of course as you're reading now the general manager is paul Heyman. while monday night raw's general manager is stephanie mcmahon now i know i just said 30 picks that's right 30 picks but Big butt on this one. Everybody that does not get picked, they're not not going to be used. This series is going to be going on for a while. There is a free agency pool, so you already know when things get a little bit stale, a couple of releases here and there, a couple of signees here and there, it's going to be a wonderful thing. I am absolutely stoked for this series, but Monday Night Raw has the first pick, so without further ado, let's start the draft. What? Brock Lesnar is the first pick for Monday Night Raw. I am absolutely in shock, but I mean, I guess you're going to go with the next big thing at the end of the day. What a way to start off the draft. Now, <laughs> let's be real here. There's only other one other person when you think Brock Lesnar you can top for SmackDown Live. So let's go ahead and pick him. You already know who it is. Ooh, ah, Roman Reigns joins SmackDown Live. That's right, the big dog coming to SmackDown Live. Now, I got some plans. I got some plans for Roman Reigns, and Roman Reigns is going to be doing it up here on SmackDown Live. But my question is, who did Raw take for the second pick? Who, who, who y'all got? Huh? You ain't got nobody good. You already, what? They took AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. The man that built the house of SmackDown Live is now the man on Monday Night Raw. Are you kidding me? Going to take the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, in the second pick? You got to be joking me. It's got to be a joke, but it's all right. I know who we're picking next. I know who we're picking next. Say it with me now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Burn it down, baby. Let's get it. Seth Rollins joining SmackDown Live. That's right. I know what you're thinking about. Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins. We got two members of the Shield. Where Dean at, though? Am I, am I going to pick Dean third? Eh, I don't know about that one, Sheep. But what I do know is that Seth Rollins is about to kick some ass on SmackDown Live. But who's Raw got next? Who is it? Who is it? Who can you top with? Come on. Who you got? Bro. You, you took Braun Strowman. You took Braun Strowman third, and you really think I care? Come on now, Raw. You got to do better than that one, Chief. I, I wasn't going to take Braun Strowman at all. So that means to me, to me, that was just simple toss-up right there. That was so easy. That was such an easy decision. But you know who? 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 I'm taking next. Oh, it's simple, baby. You already know. You already know. Come on now. John Cena. I bet you didn't think that. You see, I was I threw you off. I threw you off with the who's. You already thought y'all were thinking New Day. Three people, third pick. You were thinking New Day, but it's all right though. Because we take John Cena as the third overall pick in the SmackDown Live versus Raw draft. Now, who is Raw taking next? Who can you take next? You can't take nobody good next. You already know you're scared. Who you taking next? Huh? Huh? Who's it gonna be? Well, I mean, if John Cena goes, then Randy Orton has to go. Raw got 26 picks remaining. They took Dumb and Dumber because I wasn't going to pick either of those men. Let's be honest here. But you know who I'm thinking about taking next? Who? 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 Well, it's quite simple, you see. Now, I think I might want to take who y'all thinking when I do that. So bring them on. 
Let's get the new day. It's a new day. Yes, it is. Kofi Kingston, Biggie Langston, Xavier Woods coming to SmackDown Live. You can draft teams and stables as one. And you just saw I have the new day here on SmackDown down live how are you gonna top the new day how in the hell are you gonna top the new day you can't you really can't you can what you take the undisputed era that's four men for one pick that's adam cole kyle o'reilly bobby fish roderick strong all going to monday night raw i wanted the undisputed era they were my next pick how in the what I'm a little, I'm a little baffled, but I got to pick next, so I'm just, I, I got to take him. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Daniel Bryan to SmackDown Live. Now, he used to be a general manager of SmackDown Live, but of course, our general manager, Paul Heyman, also used to run SmackDown Live, so they got that connection right there. Speaking of, I just realized, Paul Heyman got to get a new guy because Brock Lesnar's on Raw. Well, that'll be a little interesting to see where that's going to go, but who does Raw have next? You already took Undisputed Era, so who the hell are you taking next? Let's be real. It, it can't be nobody great. Who is it? Break it to me. Fi they took Finn Balor. You take the Undisputed Era, and then you take Finn Balor. It's like you're stabbing me over and over and over again, man. I wanted both of them. Well, I wanted all of them. I wanted the Undisputed Era. I wanted Finn Balor, but... Man, hopefully we can get some trades going. Because there is going to be trades in this series as well. Hopefully we can get some trades going. But I think for my next pick, let's do a little different. Let's do it a little different. Becky Lynch, the first female in the draft. The man coming to SmackDown Live. Welcome, Becky Lynch. 24 picks remain in the draft overall. And we get the first female of the WWE draft. The general manager draft. General manager mode draft? Eh, it doesn't really roll off the tongue. But who they got? Who you got next, Raw? You ain't going to get nobody good. Ain't, no, ain't getting the man. Okay, wait a minute. I take Becky Lynch, so you take Ronda Rousey, right? Right, okay. That's cool, you little weirdo. You could take Ronnie. You could take Ronnie, because we got Becky Lynch every single damn night over here on SmackDown Live. And the man is going to be doing it up big here on the good brand. The A brand, the man's brand. But with 24 picks left, let's take our... 24th pick. Wait, the, the, our seventh pick. Alexa Bliss, welcome to SmackDown Live. The seventh pick overall for us, and it is a marvelous pick. You could even say it was a moment of bliss. All right, you see, the joke didn't really flow that well, but it's all right, though, because y'all got it. Y'all understood. 23 picks remain for Monday Night Raw. Who y'all got for your eighth pick? Because you ain't topping the goddess. I can tell you that much right now. You ain't topping the goddess. Who you taking, though? Who you taking, though? Hmm? Who you gonna get? Who the CPU getting? What? Samoa Joe? D uh. All right, you can take Braun Strowman. You can take Randy Orton. You can take Ronda Rousey. But damn it, you can't take Samoa Joe. I wanted Samoa Joe. You gotta be kidding me, man. Taking Samoa Joe from us? Uh, what am I gonna do? Who am I gonna who am I gonna take? Oh, I know who I'll take next. It's easy. Light work, baby. Light work. Oh, souls! Welcome to the Uso Penitentiary! Ladies and gentlemen, the Usos, the first tag, well, the New Day, I guess. The Usos, the second tag team, drafted to SmackDown Live. SmackDown Live looking pretty lit right now, if I do say so myself. SmackDown Live looking marvelous. 22 picks remain overall, though. Monday Night Raw, who y'all got next? You ain't topping the Usos. Who is it? What? Rey Mysterio 2? Oh, my God. They're taking banger after banger after banger on Raw, man. This general manager series is lit right now. You, they took Rey Mysterio. I, I'm, I'm baffled. I'm baffled. I'm dazed. I'm confused. But, but. I do know who I'm taking next. So without further ado, go ahead and give it. Let's get it. Oh, we had to complete the shield. You knew we had to do it at some point. So without further ado, the lunatic fringe 
Dean Ambrose, welcome to SmackDown Live. Now, if you look at our roster right now, it is kind of looking like that OG SmackDown Live roster, does it not? I mean, you got Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, The Usos, Dean Ambrose, John Cena, <laughs> The New Day. It's kind of crazy out in these streets. But who's Raw got next? 21 picks remain. Who's your 10th pick? What? You take The Miz, too? For once in my life, I was actually going to draft The Miz. But I thought The Miz would go down a little bit lower than that. So, wait, 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 wait. For a 10th pick, there can only be one and only pick for the 10th pick. So, I think, you know, we might want to dip down a little bit into NXT right now, even though he just got called up IRL too. But we're going to go ahead and take him. Ricochet, welcome to SmackDown Live. Ricochet, the one and only, making his way to our brand. And it's a beautiful thing. Yes, it is. It's a beautiful damn thing. But... The first 10 have been picked. We're moving on to pick 11 now. Who's going to be the 11th pick for Monday Night Raw? I, I don't, they haven't really picked any tag teams. They, they really only picked one woman. So it could be anybody, honestly. What? The Revival? Say yes, say no. The Revival? I've, man, the Revi I had big plans for them in my tag division, man. All right, so Raw's got 19 picks left. All right, all right. We got to really think about this now. We really got to think about what we got and what we want. We need more women, but we also kind of need more tag teams. But I kind of feel like right now we might be able to slide through with this person. Let's get him. Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Smackdown Live. Johnny Gargano. Welcome to Smackdown. Down live. I got big plans for Johnny Gargano, and I'm already thinking in my head right now. Maybe Johnny Intercontinental sounds pretty nice, does it not? But regardless, Monday Night Raw, who y'all got next? Who who is it? With 19 picks left, who y'all got next? Come on now. Who is it? Drew Drew, you, you, Drew? you took Drew McIntyre too, CP. Okay. Okay. See, Monday Night Raw out here cheesing a bit. Take a Drew McIntyre. Take a Samoa Joe. You, mm, I'm a little mad about that one, Chief. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm a little mad about that one because Drew McIntyre honestly was going to be my next pick. And it seems that the CPU's done that quite a bit here tonight. But it's all right because there's always a plan B in the words of Seth Rollins. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and take Kevin Owens. Ladies and gentlemen, fight Owens fight out here on SmackDown Live. What a damn pickup. That's all I'm saying. What a damn pickup. We got Kevin Owens, Johnny Gargano, Ricochet. That's back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back perfection out here. It's back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back perfection. Can we go for one more perfect, perfect pick? But who is Raw going with now? Who is it? Al you, ha, he, ha, wha, ha. you took Aleister Black? Oh, my. You really took Aleister Black? Alistair Black, I had plans for him with a little thing called the Intercontinental Championship, but all right, all right. You want to take Alistair Black? Well, I guess I got to get the big guns out because the next pick, I think we should go to the underground. I really think we should go to the underground and get the underdog from the underground. Ole, 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 ole. Welcome. SmackDown Live to Sammy Zayn. That's right. Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn back to back to back to back to back. These are some perfect picks we're dishing out right now. Ain't no way in hell Monday Night Raw is topping Sammy Zayn. Who you got next? 17 picks remaining. The 14th pick. Who is what? You take Charlotte Flair? Charlotte Flair? That's a big pickup for the Raw Women's Division. I'm not even going to sleep on it. I ain't even going to sleep on it. Big pickup for Monday Night Raw. Big pickup for Raw. All right. All right. All right. That took me by surprise a little bit. I'm glad they're finally starting to work on their women's division. Took me by surprise a little bit, though. Didn't expect Charlotte Flair to get picked, but I think I know who I'm picking for my next pick, and I don't think anybody's thinking about this man. Or woman. 
Get it? Got him? Good. Welcome, the Empress Asuka, to SmackDown Live. See, I had to swerve y'all a little bit. I said, ain't nobody thinking about this man. So then y'all were like, oh, I wonder which man it's going to be. Nah, Chief. It is Asuka. And Asuka on SmackDown Live just feels right. Asuka and Charlotte Flair, they've had some wars. But now they're split apart. SmackDown Live and Monday Night Raw. Who's Raw got next, though? Who is it? Root? <laughs> You can take Rusev. You can take Lana, too. You can take Aiden English, too, hell, if you feel like it. Because I don't give a damn about no happy Rusev day. Happy Rusev day is not happening quite a long time. But what has happened is this next pick. And you already know. You already know what I'm talking about when I say I got a banger of a 15th round pick. With 16 picks remaining, my 15th round pick. Pick 15 halfway point is uh, the Hardy Boys. We got to stack the deck a bit on this tag team division. The Hardy Boys, the Usos, the New Day. This tag team division looking pretty damn lit right now. Can you disagree? No, you can't. The Hardy Boys on SmackDown Live. It's a great damn time out in these streets. Who's next on Monday Night Raw? Who y'all got for your 16? Who you got? Who is it? Who could it be? Sock. <laughs> We don't want no boss time on SmackDown Live. You can keep Sasha Banks. You can keep Bayley too if you want her. We don't want Bayley either. We're trying to build new women up. Granted, we took Becky Lynch and Oscar, but that's neither here nor there. Who are we taking next? I had to get a little drink of water. You know, we've been talking 16 damn minutes. Who should I take next, though? Who should I take next? I think, I think I'm going to take, hmm, let's see. Mm, I got it. I know exactly who I'm taking. Welcome, Tommaso. Ch they, they, they picked, they picked the War Raiders right after I picked Champa. You're gonna, you're gonna bury Tommaso Champa with the War Raiders, right? R Raw was really ready for the war, but make no mistake about it, no one will survive because I took Tommaso Champa. You Raw, you gotta hold your horses a little bit there, man. Easy. Let me take my pick before you just instantly make your pick. Damn. It's all right, though, because I'm taking Mustafa Ali. Can we talk about this division right now that I'm building? Tommaso Ciampa, Mustafa Ali, Johnny Gargano, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. It's a beautiful damn thing. Now, every time I say a beautiful damn thing, if you are over the age of 21, drink responsibly. Take a shot, if you will. But right now, moving down on to the 18th pick, who will it be for Monday Night Raw? Who is it? The... They took Cesaro. I have plans to take Cesaro and Cassius Ono and turn them into Kings of Wrestling, but it looks like I can't use Cesaro now, and I wonder why. Thanks a lot, Monday Night Raw. Ruin my tag division if you please. Good God, man. It's all right. It's all right. We got to bounce back. We got to bounce back. 18th pick. It's all right. Who are we taking for the 18th? Hmm. I think I know. I think I know. Ha <laughs> Let's get it. You already know. Kyrie Sane. We are building for the future of the women's division. And Kyrie Sane about to be dropping that insane elbow drop all over the place. Locking in the anchor lock. Kyrie Sane, Asuka, Alexa Bliss, and Becky Lynch. What a women's division thus far. Monday Night Raw, step it up a little bit. Y'all got y'all gotta get some more picks on your side for this women's division now. Because y'all ain't messing with my women's division. Who y'all got? Who y'all got? Who you got? The, the, um, 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 all right. You know what? Monday Night Raw taking the Riot Squad. Three women back to back to back. So you know who I, you know what? We got to bust it out right away. Iconic. We got to take Billy Kay, Peyton Royce. It does suck that we lost Ruby Riot and Liv Morgan. I don't really care that much booking wise about Sarah Logan, but Ruby Riot and Liv Morgan. All right. All right. I see you out here. I see you out here, Monday Night Raw. Who y'all got? Angelo Dawkins. Well, if you're going, did they just, they just, did, or, does Monday Night Raw want to split the street profits up? Is that what I'm seeing? For the 20th pick, Monday Night Raw took Angelo Dawkins. All right. All right. I think I know who I'm taking now for my next pick. For the 20th pick in the draft, with 11 picks remaining for us, I know exactly who I'm taking. Ladies and gentlemen, get your solo cups out. And swing him from side to side. Welcome, Montez Ford, to SmackDown Live. That's right. The Street Profits have been broken up 
in the SmackDown versus SmackDown Live versus Raw WWE 2K19 GM mode. Now, 21st pick could be a lucky number for Monday Night Raw, but it all depends on who they're drafting. Who y'all got? Who y'all got next? Who is it? Do the worst. Do your worst. Do your worst. <laughs> Not that bad. Don't, don't, don't shoot me right out the gate like that. The Velveteen Dream could have been lit on SmackDown Live, man. Talking about trades, I really might need to hit up Monday Night Raw about that damn trade. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's all right though, because our 21st pick is about to be pretty lucky too. You already know what it is. Come on now, I know who we're picking. Pete Dunne, the Bruiserweight is coming to SmackDown Live. That is a phenomenal pick. And I'm not talking AJ Styles Monday Night Raw. I'm talking about the longest reigning champion in the modern era. The Bruiserweight Pete Dunne is about to rain hell over SmackDown Live. Who y'all got next, huh? Who y'all got? How you gonna counter take Bailey? I told y'all rounds ago y'all could have took Bailey if you wanted Bailey. So go ahead and take Bailey off my damn hands. I don't give a damn about the boss and her connection for SmackDown Live. Cause like I said, we gotta be building to the new. So we gotta be looking past Bailey and Sasha. They're a little past say by this time period. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just it ain't boss time when they complaining on the floor. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say on that one. I know who we're taking next though. Bring on Ember Moon. Can I just say right now, you will not find a better women's division in GM mode history than this SmackDown Live roster right here. Ember Moon, Becky Lynch, Kyrie Sane, Asuka. We can have wars. Alexa Bliss can be there too. The Iconics. But who is Raw getting next, huh? Who y'all got next? Who is it? Sanity! They're going to take Eric Young, Alexander Wolf, and Killian Dane? Okay. Okay. Y'all want to take, take Eric Young, Killian Dane, and Alexander Wolf? Okay. All right. That's, that's fine. Because for my 23rd pick, when you think about insanity and you think about sanity, you think about this person right here. And you know you want to play with Nikki. Nikki wants to play. Play with Nikki. Nikki. Nikki Cross, welcome to SmackDown Live. This women's division, man, is out of this world right now. I am so damn happy about this women's division. How you going to top Nikki Cross? Let's be honest here. Be real honest with yourselves now. You can't, bro. You can't. How, who you got? Hmm? Hmm? Who you got, huh? Baron Corbin. You want to take bald Baron Corbin? The constable Baron Corbin. You can, you can take him. You can take him because I don't want him. He's got a banging theme song, but when that bell goes ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, eh, Baron Corbin is less than uh, to be remembered for. But you know who's not less than to be remembered for. You know who's not that far off from greatness. Well, let's just say that they are the best kept secret. Buddy Murphy, welcome to SmackDown Live. Dude, I'm so stoked to use Murphy in the general mode, general manager mode series. We can't speak. We've been talking for like 23 minutes. Cut me a little slack as we're going to the 25th pick. Five picks remain. Well, technically six, but... The 25th pick is, of course, for Monday Night Raw, EC3. Trouble, 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 trouble,
EC3 on Monday Night Raw. I really wasn't going to pick EC3 for this series, to be honest. I'm not really worried about him. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop up Andrade Cien Omas El Idolo. Welcome, Andrade Cien Omas, to SmackDown Live. And if you're thinking what I think you're thinking, then you're thinking that the international talent here on SmackDown Live is lit right now. Just look at the look at the list we got right now. Pete Dunne, Ember Moon, Nikki Cross, Buddy Murphy, Andrade Cien Omas, and that's just tw 21st through 25th. Who's Raw guy? What? Speaking of international talent, Shinsuke Nakamura, the king of strong style, going over to Monday Night Raw. What a pick for Monday Night Raw. That was an absolute banger of a pick, if I'm quite honest. Good job. Good job. I'm gonna give y'all that. I'm gonna give y'all that good congrats on that one. Good job for that pick. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, Monday Night Raw, but Shinsuke Nakamura by no means is no Luke Harper. I, 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 I. Shout out to Luke Harper, man. I hope he does good work outside the WWE. Luke Harper, one of the most underlooked talents in the past few years, man. Should have been in that WWE World Heavyweight Championship match at WrestleMania 33 when it was Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. Match should have been a triple threat match. Luke Harper should have won the championship. That man is a goon, and I'm so happy to have Luke Harper on SmackDown Live. But who is Monday Night Raw taking for the 27th pick? Bobby Lashley? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, they didn't take Leo. They only took Bob. Mm. So y'all don't want the man of the hour, huh? Y'all want the man of the hour, huh? Y'all just want Bobby Lashley by himself. All right, all right, I'll remember that. I'll remember that. You don't want, you don't want Leo. You just want Lashley. Well, thank you, CPU. Because guess what? Maybe, just maybe, I hope my water fell. Maybe, just maybe, I'll take Leo later. But right now, I'm taking Bianca Belair, the Best, the most underratedest. <laughs> Ratedest? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Underratedest? I don't. It, the EST didn't roll off the tongue right there. But what does roll off the tongue is that Bianca Belair is about to be one of the best women's wrestlers here on SmackDown Live. That's right. Wrestling matters on SmackDown Live. But Monday Night Raw, you got 28. Who is it? Cedric Alexander? All right. That was a good pick. That was a good pick. The Age of Alexander making its way to Monday Night Raw. That's a good pick. That's a really good pick. I'm not going to lie. A little salty. Kind of wanted Cedric Alexander right now. Not going to lie. Kind of did. But it's all right. It's all right that y'all didn't want Cedric Alexander. Or that y'all took Cedric. Because I think for a 28th pick, there, there's somebody that I have in mind. There's somebody I have in mind. It kind of is a callback, if you will. So without further ado, go ahead and give me Leo Rush. You should have took Leo Rush. When you had the chance, you should have just took Bobby and Leo as a package deal. Now, with two picks remaining Monday Night Raw, who do you take? You got 29th round here. But who are you taking on the 29th round Monday Night Raw? Who are you taking? Who is it? Who's it going to be? Come on. Spit it out, Monday Night Raw. Who you want? 29th pick. Because you ain't getting the man of the hour. The man of the hour is on SmackDown Live. And he's about to soar on SmackDown Live. Who you got? The club? Gallows and Anderson. All right, well, I guess you'll have Gallows and Anderson, AJ Styles, and Finn Balor? God damn, Raw. I see you out here building your own little bullet club. Too sweet. But with my 29th pick, I think I know what team we got to call up. I think I know what team we got to call up. And that team is simple. You know from my My Career series, I love this woman right here. Bring on Team Kick with Dakota Kai. And she is about to kick every women's wrestler here on the roster's head clean off their shoulders. But nevertheless, welcome Dakota Kai to SmackDown Live. Now, Raw, who are you taking with your last pick? Who are you taking with your last pick? Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Huh? Who, who is it? Who is it? Come on now. Who is it? Who is it? Shelton Benjamin. All right. That was a really good last pick. I'm not going to lie. But, but I think I know, I think I know who I'm going to take for this pick. But I, 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 I see, I got to make a phone call to Mr. Heyman because I think, I think I have a hookup for this one. I think I got a hookup. So one second, one second. I know one second. Let me call Paul Heyman real quick and see what's on the up and up. 
Hello. Hello. P Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the middle of the draft right now. We're on the last pick. Yo, um, you said that I could ask you for a favor, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. So you, you already know, I already asked you, but did you, did you, did you talk to him? You, you did? All, all right. Cool. Uh, so is it a, is it a lock? Come on. He said you're his guy. He said you're one of, he said, oh, come on, man. Is he a locker? He, he is. I, I can announce it. I can tell them right now. I can? Oh, all right. Thanks, Paul. All right. Can't wait to see the first show. All right. Take it easy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for the 30th pick in the SmackDown Live versus Raw, WWE 2K19 General Manager Mode Draft, the last pick for SmackDown Live is the best in the world, and I'm not talking Shane McMahon. I am talking CM Punk. Welcome, CM Punk, to SmackDown Live. Now, what a draft this was before we get out of here. I have one question to ask you guys, and of course, that is, who do you think had the better draft here on the WWE 2K19 General Manager Mode Series. Do you think Monday Night Raw uh -uh, had the better draft? Do you think SmackDown Live, you already know, had the better draft? Let me know in the comments section below. And trust me, guys, the first episode of SmackDown Live is about to bang. I cannot wait to get it out to you guys. But nevertheless, guys, thank you for tuning into this one. If you are new, go and hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 5K. If you already subscribed, hit that bell so every single time we upload. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And as always, and forever, take it easy, though, guys. Peace.